Good evening, Excellency, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to Cambodia Global Dialogue of Southeast Asia TV. Um, last time we had a few opportunity to discuss a bit about human resource development, about higher education, the role of education development country. Uh, today we're going to touch on something a little bit more upstream, which is uh, the youth. You know, before they enter the workforce, before they go to university, you know, what would be you know, uh, the, the sort of uh, vision we want to see them uh, to be part of Cambodia economic development in the future. But it's important that we see them as a major contributor, you know, to the development of the country. Uh, and that's why today I have the pleasure to uh, have uh, someone in the studio with me. Uh, his name is uh, Mr. Kim Sok Heng. He holds two hats. He's the chairman of the Help Our Homeland Association, as well as the director of uh, a uh, sort of like a consulting, a capacity building, a human resource development company called HEDC International. So, uh, Kim Heng, uh, uh, no, Sok Heng, Sok Heng, sorry, sorry. Uh, Sok Heng, welcome to the show. Yes. yes. So, anyway, uh, Sok Heng, before we, we, we start, maybe I'd like to give you uh, a few minutes so that you can share a bit to the audience uh, a bit about your background, right? So they know where you're coming from, mm -hmm. yes. Okay, thank you very much, Bong Sopana. Uh, thanks for inviting uh, me to be here. And yes. uh, actually, my name is Kim Sok Heng. I am the chairman of uh, HOH yes. and also the director of HDC International that we provide the training, uh, capacity building program, and things like that. Yes. Uh, actually, my personal background, I graduated from high school in 2000. You're a young man. <laughs> yeah, sure. That we, I feel old. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so that's why we are representative of Jews. Okay. And uh, okay. especially in this topic that yes. we talk about Cambodia and Jews development. So I, I like to call youth empowerment. Youth empowerment, yes. that's it. It's even better than youth yes. development. So yes. uh, it linked to this uh, topic. In 2005, mm. I, I was invited mm. as the Jewish delegate from Cambodia yes. for the Third World Jewish Congress oh. that okay. uh, it host in Scotland, Scotland, in United Kingdom. Yeah. So the same is to yeah. generate how young people can mm. contribute to the positive change to yes. the world. Mm. How young people yes. can yeah. uh, contribute to okay. the sustainable developments in okay. the world. Okay. So. And also coming back to Cambodia, mm. and we are really grateful that mm. as a Cambodian yeah, yeah. Jews, okay. yeah. that we are highly invited mm. as the international Jews empowerment speakers. Okay. That okay. I was uh, in Scotland, mm. in United Kingdom, mm. in German, oh, uh, Germany, G right? Germany. Okay, okay. Sure. And so uh, we we are focused on Jews empowerment. How? Uh, can uh, young people mm -hmm. uh, contribute to the positive change in okay. the world? Yeah. And, and how, how do you get to uh, be part of Help Our Homeland Association? And what is uh, Help Our Homeland Association? Uh, help Our Homeland Association is uh, uh, really a non-governmental organization mm -hmm. that we are focused on five development programs, okay. one of which that we are uh, empowering Jews. Mm, so okay. it, it is a, a common uh, association. Mm -hmm. it, it is a free and independent association. Okay, okay, it okay. was formed by a group of yes. uh, people from the villages and from the right? different province. So okay. when they come to the city and they claim for higher education, okay. they get a good job mm. and they see a common understanding that ah, uh, most okay. of the information, most of the job opportunity and scholarship yeah. is only placed in the cities. Okay. But in the rural okay. area, there, uh, there are the lack of information. So yes, yes. we form this association so it will bring hmm. the, the job opportunity, the scholarship opportunity, hmm. and also bring the information to the people, especially the young people, which are, they, they are the, the next generation. Hmm. So. To, to develop them, to be form this association. Mm. And I was uh, invited mm. as the chairman by the founders okay. and a board member of I see. the I see. Uh, HOH so, uh, since 2007. Seven. And you are all over the nation, all over Cambodia, right? Uh, yes. Membership. Yes. Membership, yes. Yeah. We, we bring all the, the young represent, representatives from each province yes, yes. Uh, to work together because we believe that 
youth, mm. they have a great potential. Mm. And this potential have to be guided yes. and have to be shaped. Mm. So as a young people, I believe that we are lack of experience, mm. we lack of wisdom, okay. and we lack of uh, different knowledge. So okay. it is really indeed mm. that we need to be inspired, need to be guided. Mm. It's just like we said, life is mm. like a pencil. Yes, yes. So uh, to be the best, we need to be guided by hand. So yes, as yes. the young people, we need a ro good role model from yes. the old people. Yes, yes. And also some wisdom to be shared. Yeah. Well, I, I was uh, quite uh, honored when I was invited to give uh, a speech to the group of 3,000 young high school graduate, right, a couple of weeks ago. Yes. Uh, yeah, last month or so. And I, I was quite uh, moved to see so many of young Cambodians, you know, graduating from high school, coming to the city, looking forward to uh, a, a better life through the form of uh, education, but coming to, 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 to learn also from the elder, like, like me, like you, contributing to that. Uh, one thing that I, from the economic perspective, right, I, you know, every day, I don't know whether you get this statistic or not, but we have about 700 kids entering the labor force, right? 700 a day, right? So that's a lot of people that will enter the market. So in this sort of thing, does your association help also guide in what field of, uh, should they go to university, should they go to vocational school? What, what sort of guidance you give to them? Yep. Actually, we have a two part yes. in the association yes. that we helping Jews. Yes. Uh, one is we 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 try to guide uh, the the people who are graduated mm -hmm. so to go to the right majors to okay. Uh, okay. in the university. Counseling and so counseling. counseling. Yes. Yeah, we provide the yes. counseling program. Yes. And also in order because we we believe that. I myself, mm. when we just uh, graduated from high school, mm -hmm. we are lack of uh, information, mm -hmm. we lack of uh, experience, we don't yes. know which uh, major that we yes, should yes. choose in university yes. and yes. which is the, the good uh, university that we should go mm -hmm. and how when we graduate from university what kind of job opportunity yes, that yes. we should go. Mm -hmm. So based on this personal experience and mm. all the experience from all the board and members from the association, so we, we guide them mm. to go to universities. And yes. also we motivate them and mm. inspire them because a university degree alone is not enough. Okay, so I, I concur with you. I concur so with you. We, we really motivate them to get some experience. Mm. How okay. to get experience can be uh, volunteers. Yes. And volunteers is, is a way that helping us yes. to get our personal experience. Yes, it yes. plus with our uh, degree mm. and also all the use to become more and more successful. Mm. Personal character yeah, is yeah, really, yeah. really mm. needed yeah. to succeed. Mm. And also we are helping another part mm. is for those who who not yet graduated from yes. the university and somehow they drop out of the school. Yes, ah, okay. so that's we, important. So we direct them uh, to go, motivate them to go to the uh, advocational training. Advocational training, yeah. And also we can just, uh, it, it's easy for them because they are poor mm -hmm. and they lack of information mm -hmm. and sometimes they uh, dismotivate themselves. Yes, yes. So first we have to inspire them to mm. build their confidence, yes. their motivation, mm. Mm. and after that one day, in short, is to give them hope. Yes. With hope, they can just find mm. some all the way to go to vocational training, mm. or they can be uh, find the, the, the job that uh, really should uh, fit with their yes, yes. personal capacity and things like mm. that. Mm. And also, we link them mm. to see a prosperous mm. vision for their life. Okay. Sometime okay. Uh, uh, when they fail or yeah. when they are stuck mm. in the middle of the, yeah, the, yeah. the, the way, mm. it doesn't mean that they are, they are the failure of their life. Yes, yes, yes. So we just guide them that mm. way with the support of vocational training yeah. and also volunteer opportunities and things mm. like that. So it will move them. So, so in other words, uh, there's a lot of psychological dimension behind this whole uh, movement 
to help the younger kids. Uh, you yes. Know, well, I, and I agree with you that sometimes it's not that they are a failure. It's just that Absolutely. they need that in that particular moment in time, they're stuck in something. They need that extra helping hand. Yes, sure. You know, and once they overcome that, they can do it. But the main thing, I, I always say that, you know, there's an expression, I don't know who, from who, I forgot really, but they say that it's not how many times you fall, it's how many times you get up. Absolutely. See? Okay. So, so this is good, but in terms of a, a vocational training, so you do work with many of the vocational schools in the country, right, at least to guide them in, in, if they like to get into, say, automotive uh, mechanics or something. You can you can orient them to do if they want to go to sort of like uh, learning uh, computer skills or something. So you do have a network. Yes, sure. Yes, yes. Actually, we we are not only having a network mm. uh, like vocational uh, training center and yes, things like yeah. that. We also have a good network with the company, with the NGO, ah, with the association. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. And sure. now that we sure. are getting a good support in terms of, uh, of emotion from. Yeah. The, the Ministry of uh, uh, Labor. Labor, so, yes, yes, yes. So, so that it, it will, will fit together. So mm. we also see that Cambodia is developing mm. and it brings a big opportunity for, yes. for young people and yes. youth. Yes. So it, it really, we go in two, two mm. ways. For yes. those who are capable to go to university yes, and yes. so they go, okay, okay. and for those who can go to vocational training. So we, we link from mm. the personal, from the fam personal yes. to family, to community, and yes. to the provincial mm. levels, and mm. also we go to the national level. Yeah, yeah. So uh, have our Homeland Association is moving mm. because we have all the representatives mm. from like advisors, mm. uh, board members, and management. Mm. They and, and they're all, the one thing that impressed me in that day when I went there, I was, I was so impressed because I see these are our successful young entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs yes. on their own right. right? Absolutely. And Absolutely. you see, these, you know, for, for, for these youth, nothing is more important for them to see the reality yep. that it can be done. Yep. Right? Yep. That you could be coming from the province, but if, you, uh, if you're smart, if you study hard, if you work hard, you could succeed. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. and I think you mentioned the word role model is important. Yep. I feel I'm a little bit old, you know, as, uh, there, but, but you know, I made the opening remark uh, that day, but, uh, you know, uh, Dr. Man Hun Manet made the closing remark. Yes, yes. Manet, of course, is much younger than me, but they probably can relate to Manet more because he's young and, yep. you know, well-educated, you know, experienced, you know, uh, successful. Uh, but then, you know, Behind you have all these young entrepreneurs that are not famous. Yeah. Of course, people knows me. People know Manet. It's one thing, but for many of these entrepreneurs, not many people know them, and yet they are successful business, business. in their own right. Absolutely. And that is important to send a message yep. to say that you don't need to be famous, yep. you know, to to be a role model. Yeah. There are many what I call the common, the day-to-day -day hero. Yeah. That uh, that can sort of emulate. So, so yes. I'm very very proud of that. Uh, but so uh, I want to shift a bit to uh, more on in your role as a, a human resource uh, trainer. Uh, what do you do that you feel that you are influencing the the, the, the new generation, this 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 younger generation? Okay. Uh, to me, I see that uh, Cambodia is developing, mm -hmm. and in the developing country, it needs a lot of human resource. Yes. In terms of knowledge, okay. skills, experience, and also mm -hmm. characteristic of uh, the individuals to grow together. Yeah, yeah. And the, the, the people should see long term, okay. not only focus on short term just to survive, mm. because uh, short term thinking, it cause a lot of suffer like yeah, yeah. greed and mm -hmm, also mm -hmm, mm -hmm. crime and also human trafficking sure, sure, and things sure. like that. So it this also it will cause uh, hopelessness. Yes, yes. The short term people can just uh, focus just to survive and mm, sometimes yes, they want yes. something now yes, yes. and narrow thinking. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, to to play a, an active role to contribute mm. uh, the development of society, human yeah. resources yeah. is one mm. of the the important factor so mm. that's why uh, I really love in this uh, profession mm. and provides mm. a lot of uh, capacity building mm. training yeah. 
and also consultancy facilitation mm. Mm. and up to now that we train almost uh, 200,000 people in wow. Cambodia wow. and including government officials and mm. development mm. Uh, local and international mm. development agency like mm. one of the World Bank and United mm. Nations okay. and okay. UNICEF yes. and also uh, all the microfinance institutions okay. in Cambodia mm. and also uh, private sectors yeah. and so that's why that I link all of the the differences together, mm. yes, yes. like development agency, local mm. agency, and mm. also a private sector, especially yes. that we have a good chance to cooperate mm. with the Young Entrepreneur Association. Yes, yes. So this, we bring all the differences together. Yes. And, and the trick is, you mentioned the word linkage, which, which is important. Ultimately, empowering this young generation but if they cannot find a job, what's the purpose, right? Absolutely. They, be, they fall back into despair again. Yep. But the fact that you have your network of young entrepreneurs who will be in a position to absorb, yep. whether they're intern, whether they're volunteer, whether yes. they are, you know, uh, sort of like beginning, a probationary period. Yep. But nonetheless, they have a place where they can start Absolutely. their first job. Yep. I think in life, the most difficult is the first job. Yeah. Because people always say, do you have experience? Yeah. Well, I don't have experience. Uh, but if I don't have experience, how can I hire you? But if you don't hire me, how can I have experience? Right? <laughs> it's a it's chicken and egg. In the fair, it's, it, 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 it's a chicken and egg. Yeah. Yep. So, so the fact that you have a network of successful entrepreneurs who mm -hmm. are employer. Yep. Here they are entrepreneur but employer yep. who can bring these uh, kids, whether they graduate from high school, from university, or drop out, or from vocational school, it doesn't matter, they have a place. Yes. That, that is important, that's important, yeah. the network. And, uh, actually, one of the important things is, uh, some of the Jews, they also complain about life. Ah, okay. When, when they, uh, for example, and, like, we notice that mm. some of our Jews, yeah. Uh, they are lack of uh, kind of self-confidence, yes. they lack of self-motivation, yes. sometimes they lack of experience. Mm. When they find a job, they cannot uh, get it. Yeah. So this is it, it, it lower cell image, mm. and a lower cell image a mm. use yeah. cannot get a good job. Yes, and exactly. when they cannot get a good job, just like what you said, they cannot get experience. Mm. Without experience, yeah. uh, with the low cell image, they cannot, uh, nobody hire them. Yeah. So. In this, uh, our, uh, our organization, our uh, company is yes. to break that, the belief uh, mm. system that uh, mm. is a part of building the confidence, building the self-motivation, yes, yes. building the hope. Yes. So I, I would like to suggest mm. uh, to our youth that mm. in Cambodia, uh, some people complain that Cambodia lack of job opportunity. Mm. And some of uh, the young people, the youth, they graduate uh, but they cannot get a good job. Yes. But uh, to me, I believe that there are two things. Hmm. One is our personal capacities. Mm -hmm. And secondly, degree, hmm. it, uh, just like you mentioned, uh, Excellency Hunmanet, that is, yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, if you got a, a good uh, bachelor degree, a hmm. lot of bachelor sure. degree, it can uh, help you just to pass the door. Yeah, but yeah. when you are the inside, hmm. it depends on you, yeah, depends yeah. on your personal capacity yeah. that you are stay there or yeah. you are out. Exactly. So exactly. Uh, use is mm. rather than just to focus mm. on the degree, mm. it's better to focus on our personal capacity, mm. Mm. Uh, building our personal knowledge and skill, yeah. and also not only depend on the, the, the degree and mm. the knowledge that we learn from university, mm. it's also the relationship, mm. uh, relationship with company, relationship yes, yes. with uh, NGO, re yes. relationship with microfinance, yeah, with yeah. banking. Mm -hmm. So that it gives us a lot of opportunity mm. to get a good job. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I want to cut you on this one because time is short, right? But I want to touch a bit on the role of the state, for example, in your work, in, in that movement, in that uh, uh, thing that you do in terms of empowering the, the young generation. How is your relation with the, the different ministry in the government? How would you like them to do more, better, different way to help your, your cause, to help your, your, you succeed more to help this young generation? Yep. Actually, I really like this provocation. It's very important mm. because we are young people. Yes. And we, I mentioned that we are lack of experience and lack of link. Yes. So 
One is we, we would uh, like to see that our governments and our all related ministry to mm. help us to provide a clear policies mm. on youth development. Yes. Uh, because with the clear policy, with the clear direction, that yeah. we will know where to go. Yeah. And we will connect with our long-term thinking, yes. our vision to the future. Yeah. How that we see young people in the future? Mm. Because they use are the future of the country. Yes. And also, uh, secondly, is we would like to see a good role models. Mm. So this is very important that we would like to see that uh, the, the old generation mm. uh, provide a good moral for our next generation, yes, yes. especially empower mm. young people by role model yes. in terms of the way they talk, mm. the way they do, mm. the way, because the way they talk, the way they do, mm. and the way they perform, mm. it will become a positive or yeah. negative role model to our next generation. Mm. So that is mm. uh, what we want to see, mm. yeah. uh, they have and the support from the, yeah. uh, the, the government and the yeah. industry related. I think support from government, uh, one thing is clear. You know, if you watch uh, many times uh, on TV, you see that almost every major yes. graduation, the Prime Minister, who is very busy, you know, like Hun San, he's very busy, but he always takes the time Absolutely. to go to different school, different, doesn't matter whether state or private or public, whatever. He takes the time to go, he takes the time. As a prime minister, that, that takes a lot of time. Yep. You know, because he could meet another head of state for half an hour, yet he takes two, three hours to hand deliver this difficult yep. diploma. Yep. And this is a sign of, of uh, encouragement. Even my wife has uh, a picture when she graduated from uh, the law school with him. And to me, we proudly put there because, you know, there's no prouder moment in one's life yep. when you graduate from yep. school, whether high school, university. This is the picture that you will always keep, right? Yep. And, and here, I think, you know, the fact that the PM took the time, you know, to go and spend the time to encourage this young generation to say, look, you graduate now, you know, now go do something with your life. To me, it's probably the most powerful encouragement one could get from yes. anybody yes. in this country. Absolutely. So in terms of policy support, pro policy orientation, I think we could not have a better deal, right? And the way I see also is that, you know, uh, for example, when, when you look at... Uh, you know, we as individual, one should learn to contribute back. I personally, since 1994, I came back to Cambodia in 1994, I religiously teach one class, yep. one semester, one class in some university, you know, in NIM, Royal School, uh, Administration, uh, Royal University, whatever. I just feel that I'm not a professional teacher, but whatever knowledge I have, I should go and teach. And it's amazing now that you, I go everywhere, local market, noodle shop, uh, you know, Russian market, whatever. I run to students yep. who, who say, oh, wow, I'm, I'm your student. And I forgot his name already, but oh, uh, that was 1995, oh, 98, or 2008, whatever, right? This is great because to me, that's about role model. Yep. Role model is to give. To give. To yeah. give the right, you know, model, right? Yes. And I think on this sense, uh, I'm, I'm glad that we, we have this short chat uh, about youth empowerment, but equivalently, the opposite side is also true. It's about the elder role modeling. Absolutely. So you need on one side the young <laughs> to be empowered, yeah. but they need to be empowered by, by the opposite uh, mirror, yep. which is the, the elder, yep. like in Khmer we call the Peng Snong Asai. The Peng Snong Asai. Yeah, the, the, yeah. Uh, the Asai you know, have to be uh, giving space yes. to the Tepeang to grow, right? Yep. So in this sense, it works both ways. There, yep. there is a youth who need to be empowered, but it's also there's the elder yep. who need to send the right message yep. also to the youth. Your last word. Uh, my last word to the audience, especially to Bong Supana, and really inspire me as the elders. Uh, you can say you say you really become a model one one the other mirror. So to the youth and we stay in hope 
and we we better see our country is moving forward is the world is moving fast so we need to be well prepared ourselves is rather than just to wait yeah. and for somebody else from yeah. the outside from the external side to to have us so yeah. first is to be well prepared to equip our life yeah. with knowledge and skills mm -hmm. experience yeah. through getting job yes. and volunteers yes. opportunities number three is which is the the most foundation is our personal character yes, yes. so that is very important and we should also build a good relationship with our friends yes. uh, with the companies mm. with the, the elders and mm. also not only with the people around in our yes. university yeah. in the workplace and also in the national level and provincial level national level and also we we link yes. to the international level so yes. which is give us a, mm. a bigger yes. space good for our personal success which is yeah. i myself just try to do it and yeah. now is moving and also getting invited as an inter mm. international guest speakers on youth empowerment good so good. that is that's it Good. Well, so can I, uh, you, before I wrap up the program, uh, I, I want to stress, for example, that uh, the fact that you are traveling around quite a bit, uh, representing the youth in different international forums. Uh, next year, uh, Cambodia will be chairing the ASEAN, and I hope that uh, there's an opportunity that the Cambodian youth will be having event also with the other ASEAN youth, yes. China, whatever. So this is important that we project Cambodia youth as capable to, you know, interact, to mingle, to uh, do things with the other youth. And, but more from the economic opportunity prospect is that if we do not equip and train our youth correctly, properly, efficiently, you know, uh, effectively, youth, effectively yeah. uh, you, we will not be in position to compete because the youth of Thailand, of Vietnam, of Malaysia, of Singapore yeah. will be coming to our country, yeah. but in what capacity? And and vice versa, how can our youth go to Thailand, go to Malaysia, go to uh, you know, uh, Singapore, in what capacity? Do we want them to, to come to Cambodia as management level and, we are uh, and then we go as a labor? Labors. Or, or at least we should go as a management, management level labors. management. And this is important for the future of our nation. Yep. You know, the competitiveness of our nation depends on our youth. Yep. Our youth being educated, our youth being prepared. And then this way we can we, we, we can say look we are ready, and it, you, it's clear that in this case some like the Joe Prime sir, his vision is clear that Cambodia is integrated. Yeah. But his vision alone without us without the younger generation to be ready yep. you know will not succeed. So we need to Work give our all yep. our, our helping hand. Yep. Uh, as elder, as a teacher, as professor, as education. Parents, uh, parents, yeah. uh, foremost as parents also. Yes, to yes. That. So on that note, uh, Sokhani, I want to say thank you uh, uh, for, for taking the time to, to come and share both of your role as chairman of the, this association, you know, but at the same time as a professional, you know, in the empowerment business, in the capacity building business. So thank you so much. Sir. That's my pleasure. Yeah. So, Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, uh, unfortunately, well, 30 minutes is very short as always. And uh, I hope that you have a, a sort of sense a bit of the, 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 the I, I wouldn't say the urgency, but it's clear that every day we have seven, eight hundred of Cambodian young entering the workforce. But, you know, we need to get them to be equipped, prepared mentally, professionally, educationally, socially, so that they become an active uh, and productive uh, citizen of this nation. And uh, I want to say uh, thank you, uh, you know, for the association Homeland, home, help our Homeland Association for, for doing this outreach work, you know, uh, and this is important and I hope they will continue to grow, they continue to attract more young uh, Cambodian. But I hope that also those who are the elder, those, the professional, the businessmen will, will come to support this association. You know, whether you're entrepreneur, you're minister, you are politician, well, it doesn't matter. This is something that uh, is an initiative that started already. Anything we could do to help the association, we, we are in fact helping our country. So on that note, I want to say thank you for watching uh, the show again. And I'll see you next week for another topic which I have no clue what it is yet. So, good night. <laughs>